In this session, I'm going to show you the different sharing options that iThoughts has. Now, this gives a really useful way if you have colleagues, for example, that don't have iThoughts and you want to be able, you want them to be able to view and use your maps. iThoughts gives you a lot of options that could be very handy here. So let's take a look. So for this, we're going to be up here under File and Share, and you'll see this window. This uh, this yeah, this window opens up here, which has a whole raft of options. So first and foremost, at the top left here is the native iThoughts format. So if you basically want, it's another way of saving your map as an iThoughts map. However, it does also, if we just click preview, it shows you what the map looks like there. And you also have the ability to immediately email it to someone, which could be quite handy. Next along, we have PDF, so you could share, save your map as a PDF. So again, if we click preview, it shows how that will look in PDF form. So there it is, let's close that down. Uh, and again, you have the option to email it directly to someone or just to save it as a PDF. This one's kind of useful. If you click this, it creates a web page with a clickable image of the map. Notes, attachments, links, and images can be clicked and viewed. There is also a view outline option. So if I just say preview here, it basically saves a temporary copy on your computer. If I then double click on this, it opens it up, and here we have our map in a web page form. So like I said, this could be quite handy if you're sharing it with colleagues that don't have iThoughts, especially as you'll see here on Wednesday, I've pre-populated uh, pre it with a little note here. If you remember, that's what that symbol means. If I hover over it, it shows you the note, or I can click on it and it takes it off and it just says up here, this is a note. Obviously not the most useful thing, but just as a little demonstration. So if I close that down, and once again, you have the ability to preview it, to email it directly to someone, or to save it. You could also share your maps or save your maps as images, very straightforward. MS Office, so you could share it as a, you could export it basically to a Word document, to a PowerPoint presentation, to an Excel document, or into MS Project if you're into, if you're a project manager, for example. There's also this option, Reports. If we click here, Project, what it'll basically do is it'll take anything in your map that has a, uh, a progress value associated with it. So if I've said that anything in my map is 25% completed, 10% completed, it'll pick up all of those topics that have that assigned to them. And if I then say preview, it'll create a little project report showing you where things are. So on the Monday, for example, I have a sales pitch, which is 25% complete, an email newsletter, which is 75% complete, and on Tuesday, a company jingle that I still need to compose, which is 35% complete. So again, just a nice little quick thing if, uh, if your colleagues don't have iThoughts or aren't familiar with mapping software, maybe a format like this might suit them better. Next along the top here is Markdown. Now Markdown, I must admit, is something I don't know a huge amount about. It's to do with uh, coding and HTML and stuff that I personally don't play with. But if that is your game, then here is where you would do anything you need to do to do with that. And finally, iThoughts is very well equipped for exporting to other map formats, to third-party formats. So you'll see here, if I click on this drop-down, you can export your iThoughts map as a free mind map, a mind manager map, X mind map, I mind map, Nova mind map, concept draw map, mind view map, or an OPML map. So you've got lots of different options there. If I just click cancel, another little feature. If you go back up to file here and say share selected, you can do all of the functionality we just talked about, but on a specific topic. So you'll see here at the moment I'm highlighting Monday. So if I were to say share selected, I'd be able to do all of what I just did, but just using Monday and its associated subtopics. Now finally, my favorite one, I click on the middle here and say file, share on biggerplate.com, that is us. So you'll see it's already given you a title, weekly planner, and then if I say this is a simple weekly planner template. If I then say share on bigger plate, uploading to biggerplate.com, and as if by magic, the internet kicks in, wait for it, there we go. As if by magic, immediately shared on bigger plate is this weekly planner map. So you can see we're on bigger plate now. Here is the map, and at this point now, everyone can use it, download it, view it. You'll see here, this is my profile, and it says via API, which means you've uploaded it directly from iThoughts, which is pretty cool. So that is how you share maps uh, straight to Bigger Plate, which obviously we would always encourage you to do, as it helps uh, other members, other users benefit from your genius creations. So if we just go back to iThoughts now, I think that's everything you'd need. So again, we're just going to File, we're going to Share, and you have all of these options to choose from, and you have the option to preview the uh, the sharing format, to email it directly to someone, or to save it. And then equally, you just go File, Share on Bigger Plate, and you can publish your maps straight to the Bigger Plate library.